Hey everyone, it's Up North Collectors here. We're opening up the 2020 Topps Heritage High Number Hobby Box. So these just came out, and yes, indeed, it is January of 2021. <laughs> Um, they came out, I think, what, just before the new year. Uh, and, uh, yeah, anyway, so I, obviously, if you know anything about Heritage High Number, this product usually comes out September-ish, I would say. Yeah, September, maybe October, depending yeah, maybe, on the year. Maybe, right, yep. Um, it, usually, it usually comes out fairly close to Topps Update Baseball. So um, this got pushed way back for whatever reason, and some of their other products didn't. Um the sad news is, is that there's all kind of all kinds of damage people are reporting from these uh, boxes and packs. We opened up a box off camera, and it wasn't as bad as what we've seen from some other people. But I would say, like you know, like maybe five to ten of the cards we got were somewhat damaged. Um, but here's your box topper, pretty cool, Chris Bryant. The first box we got, we actually ended up hitting a Luis Robert, which is pretty sick. So. Yeah, so we hit that out of the first one, and then we pulled one of his rookie cards here, which I think, unless I missed something, is in pretty good. Looks like it's in pretty pristine shape. And now maybe there's something I don't see, but I wouldn't really recommend grading a card like that, just because <clears> you know it'll, the chance of it getting a PSA nine is pretty high. Yeah, if if you don't know, um, black bordered cards <laughs> are impossible. Yep. Uh, just because the slightest, you know, mark or chip on the side can probably bring it down a notch, but. Um. Yeah. So this checklist, it's two hundred cards plus twenty five short prints. Um, so it's cards 501 to 700, and then 701 to 725 are SPs. The checklist is pretty brutal. You have, for rookie-wise, you have Edwin Rios, who's over here. You can't really see him, but then you've got Luis Robert, who's definitely the big guy. And the only other guy that's in here is that one uh, Shogo, like yeah. Akiyama yeah, for, for the, the Reds. Reds. Yep. Um, but other than that, I mean, there's a few. There's other rookies, just no, like, big no names. Big Someone names. could pop yep. out. but you Right, know. right. It's kind of a tough checklist, so we've got Yaziel Puig action variation first pack. Yeah, so not the bad. actions are not one a box; they are harder to pull this year. And I can't remember the odds, but I want to say it's like every other box. So there's the Shogo right there. I'll show the odds um, real quick. Of course, uh, the autographs, relics, you get one hit per box. Autographs and high number are usually a little bit easier to come by than in regular. In years yeah. past, you've gotten about five autos per case, four to five autos per case, whereas in regular, you get like one to three autos per case. So Yeah. Yeah, usually high number, they are a little bit easier, um, but I don't know about this year. I haven't heard yeah, I don't um, know either. reports on it. and. It doesn't appear that many people have been buying this product uh, from what we've seen, at least. Yeah. Um, maybe, I'm sure there's a lot of people buying it, but not uh, breaking it online or posting on Instagram. It's just one of those products that is kind of falling out of favor, unfortunately, um, it seems like. Here's a card right here. I don't know if it'll focus. I mean... I, I understand why it's falling out of favor. I still think it definitely has a rather large market, and it definitely is really cool. Um, but a set like high number... Why don't this focus here? There we there. go. A set like high number, the biggest issue that I have with it is that... like So one of the big things for me with high number has always been trying to get the, the chrome cards. The chrome cards look awesome in here. And when you have a, a set where all of these guys are sort of mid-level players, there right. aren't really any big superstars in here. You could obviously hit a Luis Robert, but you that's like one guy out of 200. Right. The like, chances of hitting that out of a box are, yeah, almost And, like, there's no impossible. Mike Trout or any other yeah. vets, like, big names like that to chase the chromes of. So you're going to get a lot of chromes of, like, Jacoby Jones, SPs of people like that, um, which just makes the product a lot tougher than, like, even, like, regular Heritage. Um, one cool thing they did do with high number, which they also did in 2018, is the rookies in this product are vertical instead of the horizontal dual rookie. So in regular Heritage, they have it like this, and it'd be split like with raised rookies, right. and you'd yep. have two. This set, there's just the one, which is yeah, cool. So like that Shogo and Rios. That um, is, yeah, I was gonna say this is the one nice uh, vet. In here, yeah, the yep. one, one really good one. So there's a couple others, but not many. Drew Pomeranz, right there, 724. The code will also be different, which is down here, um, but you can just tell by looking at the 724. Yeah, Pomeranz used to pitch for the Red Sox. 
I think he, he did he pitch during the World Series that one year in 18? Uh, I don't know if he did. He was right around that uh, time, I though. I think so. And then he pitched for uh, Padres, right? Last yeah. year. Padres have a whole uh, slew of pitchers now. Yeah, now the, what Luke was saying earlier about the set is that's that's a nice one. The Bo yeah, Bichette. Bichette, rookie the rookie performers look cool. I like those. Is that this is not unusual for high number or even for heritage sometimes. Uh, heritage not as much as high number. But high they've had other high number sets where they were just not Yeah. The checklist was not that great. So it is one of those sets that can do that from time to time. Um, it's just the way it is. And this year with COVID and everything, I don't know, Tops just didn't seem to put a lot of big name people in in update or in heritage high number yeah not at all um the autograph checklist is really solid though there's still a lot of the autograph checklist is actually pretty insane the autographs are in high number are usually really really good um obviously there's going to be the scrub rookies that won't be as good but they are really there's some really big names so yeah and the um box price is not as uh, high as some of the other products. So you're getting, you know, you're paying around a hundred to hundred and fifteen dollars a box right now, I think. Yeah, and realistically, this product will, in my opinion, will drop um, probably to the eighty-five, ninety range. You would think. You would think. Um, yep. It might even drop more than that. I don't know, but it just depends. There's a nice Louise Robert rookie right there. Cool. See if that one is damaged at all. It looks okay. It looks all right. Um. Just because of you know how poor the set is, but it's such a huge. People don't realize the amount of money that's in heritage just based off of the set collectors. I mean, you can sell all of these base cards like individually for like you know twenty yeah. thirty cents a pop, just or sets too. Yep, there's and, still um, a big demand for uh, sets and set collectors and subsets and team sets and all that stuff out of this. So it's a very different product. Most people just go for the hits. Obviously, in Heritage, you're talking like a relic in almost every box, it seems like. So, I mean, obviously, the autographs are uh, really awesome and highly sought after, but they're hard to hit. Got Jordan Lyles. Yeah, they. the one cool thing, um, the chromes are definitely my favorite, but I, there's the Super Fractor chromes in here, which are extremely elusive, the yeah. gold chromes. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff, so... A lot of weird stuff. There's, I think there's cut autos on the checklist, celebrity autos, quad yeah. patch autos. Yeah, there's there, I mean, there's just wild some wild stuff. stuff. So, And retail of this has usually been pretty good. Um, retail and heritage and high number, they've really done a good job with putting in hits in there. We've pulled some big name autographs out of retail. And retail hasn't hit the shelves yet, um, at least to our knowledge. And when it does, we'll definitely pick up some so you can see uh, you know, what is in there. But... Uh, for now, we'll do this rest of this hobby box. We're still looking for our one guaranteed hit, which is either a relic or an autograph. Probably a chrome. They also have the whites in here as well, right? Yeah, Isn't it white yeah whites. Here? Yep. They're not numbered. Like They don't have a serial number, but they uh, top says they only print 50 of them. So. Yep. They also have like a flip stock in here, which they make. Oh, we got a chrome coming up here. Jalen Davis. Interesting. So that's pretty cool. Black chrome. So the white chromes are going to be the refractors. The black are just um, the standard chrome. Well, they have a refractor, and then they have an actual white chrome. Oh, yeah, that's that's true. Sorry. Uh, you're right. They do have a refractor, and then they have a um, – is it white chrome? Yep, it's white. The base are numbered to 999. The refractor is numbered to 568, and then the – uh, white chrome are like the 70 or 68 is it, or, or is something. it 71 71 oh I yeah think it is 70 it yeah you're right yep 71 because yep. they go by the year yeah because it's all different because usually in when they have regular uh colored borders it is um black is the chrome you're really looking yeah. for and this year obviously with black borders they had to do something different uh to make it more sought after all right, we have a award winner, Verlander. And Rain Harper. Not Bryce Harper. Interesting. Rain. Well, definitely let us know in the comments what your opinion is on Heritage High Number. Um, just interested to hear what people think about it, really. Yeah, absolutely. And if you haven't yet, 
Um, definitely hit that su subscribe button, like button if you like this video. Um, here is a high number right there, short print. The Def SPs tend to fall eight per box is normally what you would want, to, what you would expect, seven to eight a box. Yep, seven to eight a box, and that's what roughly every every three, three packs, packs about yep. is what they fall. So to me, you know, and obviously set collectors are going after uh, the entire set, so they'll want the whole 225, not just the 200s, and then those sets sell for even more, of course, than the just the base set. And the regular Heritage set has a hundred card SP sets. Ooh, there's so. a nice uh, rookie performers, Luis Robert. I would love, love, love to pull a Luis Robert Heritage Auto from High Number. That would yes. be it. Because, I mean, this is the one we pulled earlier, but the Just look of that awesome. is awesome with the black and the, the little white um, border around the black. Uh, I mean, that is sweet. I'd really like a red ink auto. But... Yeah, we won't get greedy. Now, the red inks, I think, are numbered to 71 as well. Yep. Um, and those are the super highly sought after ones. And we've pulled a few of those. But not that many. Yeah, they're very tough. They're very tough. I mean, anytime you pull a Heritage Auto, it's it's awesome. All right. Let's see if we can pull one here. We've gotten some good ones in the past as well. We've pulled two, two, Another high number. two dual autos. We've pulled a Nolan Ryan, uh, Noah Syndergaard, and then we got an Andrew Benintendi. Was it Carl? Oh, yeah, Scrimsky? Carl Yastrzemski. Yep. And then we've pulled a Otani autograph, a Judge Auto, a Devers auto, a Bo Bichette auto, yep. a Reggie Jackson, Reggie Jackson auto. That's what I was thinking yep. of. We pulled a few other like older um, guys. I don't think they're necessarily Hall of Famers, but guys from the year, so like 60s, 70s. Now, another thing to look for in the set is the no-name card, so that's another variation. But on the back, uh, it will tell you like the action said action. It will say something like no name up no here. No signature. Or no, actually. yeah, no yep. signature. Yeah, it does have a name. Sorry, no signature. Yeah, the facsimile autos are missing. Though. All right, let's see. This one feels a little thicker. Maybe this is our relic. That's what I thought too. But... These packs do not shred like butter. And if you know this channel at all, you know that's one of my world famous sayings. That makes no sense at all. Uh, these packs are a little bit more difficult to open. Yep, this is the Relic pack. Called it. So it felt a little bit thicker. Let's see if it's somebody decent. It starts with an F, so I don't know. All right, let's see. Could be Fernando, Fernando Tatis. Fernando Tatis, cool. sweet. That's a cool one. All right. That's pretty sick. Pretty cool. Congratulations. Um, this is probably not from any specific game, event, or season. Interesting. So not game not game used, I guess, or game worn. It doesn't say anything. Nope. <laughs> it doesn't even say player worn. It says Tatis, so uh, and it says on the front game used memorabilia. So Oh it, it does say it on used. the front, yeah. Yeah, okay. So it is game used. Alright. Yeah. I think they're just saying it's not from any Right, not a specific game. game. Although he it had to be from a game where he was wearing this uniform, which is pretty uncommon. They don't really wear that jersey all that. No, often, they the don't. Blue. Yeah, you would they expect wear the white and the brown right. a lot more than they wear the blue. So you could probably narrow it down to like five games. Right, but... especially if it was from this year, which it doesn't say because it says it doesn't say a season. Yeah, that's true too. I didn't think about so that. So Verdugo is a short print, so he's another decent name, but no, yeah, and I mean, kind of decent. Well, I mean, he had a big year, but yeah, he's not a uh, Mike Trout name. Yeah. Yeah. It is better than a lot of the short prints in here. All right, so there's another decent rookie. And here is That's cool. Now and Then. Cubs win. I remember watching that game. Yeah, the I remember Wild staying series, up. The Cubs and the Indians. I remember staying up super late and yeah, then like, falling asleep and then waking up and the game was still going on. So one thing I can't stand about the baseball games when you live on the East Coast is they don't get like they start right one like you know mid school mid football season. <laughs> yeah. So I can barely watch them, and they don't get done till like one in the morning most of the time. Midnight, oh, it's crazy. That. Yeah, they should do something about that. Like the but. football games, at least, they go like this this weekend with the playoff games. They're going 1, 4, and 8 each night. Yeah. 
Yeah, the, the yeah football seems to be a little bit more manageable. Although back in the day when they had Monday night football games on at nine, um, nobody would be watching them because everybody you know either go to school, get up for work, um, gotta do something. Yeah, Starlin Castro, another high number. Uh, uh, so we did get that one action, and we did get our relic, and we did get a chrome. So a pretty decent box. I mean, nothing huge. That's but... pretty standard heritage. You normally will get a chrome. You'll normally get, you know, your relic, your auto, you're guaranteed that. And then you normally get, like, one other special thing. We'll yeah. Call it. I mean, we've opened up cases of the stuff before, and it is tough to hit stuff out of a few boxes. You really have to open up multiple boxes. Um, and preferably out of a case. And if you can't afford it, open up a whole case because you'll definitely find a lot more yeah, you'll stuff. Do a lot better. Um, and you can also sell a lot of your base cards off uh, and make sets. So, anyways, there you have it, guys. Another opening this time of 2020 Heritage High Number. Let us know what you think in the comments below. I know some of you aren't Heritage fans. That's all right. Um, and if you are, what do you think of this particular set? Uh, you know, who are you looking for in here? Obviously, Luis, Robert, who else? Um, and let us know if we missed anything or, um, you know, something uh, that you want to add. Add that down in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching. Please, once again, hit that like button, uh, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next break. We got more baseball coming up. So we'll be doing a random pack opening, and we have a boombox platinum coming in, as well as some... Um, other retail stuff that we found and have ordered. So stay tuned. We got more baseball coming up for you on our channel. Take care guys and have fun collecting. We'll see you soon.